Hey everyone, you might have seen that some graphics cards have a dual BIOS switch, which is often a physical switch on the actual graphics card, that when you switch it and then reboot your computer, it'll actually boot up into a different set of operating instructions. You might be wondering what that actually is and whether you actually need one. And actually, I recently upgraded my graphics card to the RTX 5080 Founders Edition, and that doesn't have a dual BIOS switch or anything like that. So certainly, I don't need that, but other people really rely on that. And why is that? Well, there was actually a time where that dual BIOS switch was a way of protecting yourself. So you might have your default BIOS with all the normal settings and no overclocking. And then you add the other switch would actually be like the extreme overclocking version with more experimental settings where you might really push up the memory clock and the core clock and obviously mess around with the fan speeds and all that to accommodate that and then the voltages as well. And then you'd actually try things out on that. And if that ever corrupted, what you could then do when your system died was actually go back to the normal BIOS and actually use things as normal without worrying about having bricked your graphics card and having to resort back to a more normal state or anything like that. So that is why dual BIOS switches originally came into being. But actually nowadays, they're more about simply offering you convenience. Because what many modern graphics cards are actually doing is offering you a decent overclock on one that they've actually applied and tested and they know it works fine. And then the other one is a quiet mode. So maybe it's overclocked, maybe it's not, but actually the quiet one has obviously lower fan speeds and things like that. And you won't actually hear it as much when gaming or doing whatever else you're doing. But then the other one will have louder fan speeds to accommodate the higher overclock. So that's nowadays where things have shifted to, but of course you can still tweak in many cases, you can actually tweak those overclocking profiles and then still get the benefit of the dual BIOS switch if you did actually accidentally corrupt one of those BIOSes or something like that. But I hope that clears up this topic for you. If you've got any further questions though, please do let me know down in the comments. Other than that, please click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching.